Finding Missing Angle Measures in Triangles, 11.2c. If we know the measures of two angles in a triangle, we can use the triangle sum theorem to find the measure of the third angle. It's kind of common sense. We've learned that the interior measures of a triangle are 180 degrees. If we know this angle is 95 degrees and this one is 15 degrees, and we need to find this one, well, we can add these together and subtract them from 180. The triangle sum theorem says the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C is equal to 180 degrees. If we know angle A is 95 degrees and angle B is 15 degrees, we can substitute them into the equation and we write measure angle C for the unknown one here and they're equal to 180 degrees. We combine the like terms that's 110 degrees. We write 110 degrees plus the measure of angle C is equal to 180 degrees. Now we just subtract 110 degrees from each side. We have a positive 110 and a negative 110 that creates a zero pair and eliminates it. And on this side, we have 70 degrees. We drop this down. We know the measure of angle C is equal to 70 degrees. So let's find the missing angle measure of this triangle. We have triangle PQR. It's giving us angle P is 45 degrees, angle R is 60 degrees. We don't know Q. We write our equation, the measure of angle P plus the measure of angle Q plus the measure of angle R is equal to 180 degrees. We substitute 45 degrees for the measure of angle P. We have to leave this as measure of angle Q because we don't know what it is. And we substitute 60 degrees for the measure of angle R, and we set it to equal 180 degrees. We combine the like terms. 45 plus 60 is 105. We drop this down. Now we have the measure of angle Q plus 105 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. We can isolate this measure of angle Q to one side of the equal sign by subtracting 105 degrees from each side. We have a positive 105 degrees, a plus, so we minus 105 degrees. We create a zero pair and eliminate it. And 180 degrees minus 105 degrees is 75 degrees. That means the measure of angle Q is equal to 75 degrees. This is an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle has two congruent sides and two congruent angles. Congruent sides have matching tick marks. And congruent angles have matching arc marks. Now I know we're learning about triangles, but I wanted to throw this quadrilateral in to show you the tick marks and arc marks. We can see there's one tick mark here and one tick mark here. That means that these two sides are congruent. Now we have two tick marks here and two tick marks here. That means these two sides are congruent. We have one arc mark here, and up here we have one arc mark. That means this angle and this angle are congruent. We have two arc marks and two arc marks. These angles are congruent. Okay, it's telling us to find the missing angle measure of this isosceles triangle. Now look at the diagram. This is triangle DEF. It only gave us one measure. We only know that this one angle is 70 degrees. Well, we know the measure of angle E must be 70 degrees. This is an isosceles triangle. It told us so. And we know isosceles triangles have two congruent angles. If this is 70, this must be 70. We can write our equation. The measure of angle D plus the measure of angle E plus the measure of angle F is equal to 180 degrees. We substitute. 70 for the measure of angle E and for the measure of angle F. We've got this one dropped down. We combine the like term. 70 plus 70 is 140 degrees. Now we have the measure of angle D plus 140 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. We have a plus 140. So we subtract 140 from each side to isolate the measure of angle D to one side of the equal sign. We have plus 140 minus 140. That's going to make a zero pair. On this side, 180 minus 140 is 40. We drop this down, and we know the measure of angle D is equal to 
to 40 degrees. So we talked about this in the previous video. Obtuse angles are greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees. A triangle can only have one obtuse angle. If it had two obtuse angles, it wouldn't be a triangle. It wouldn't be able to close. Acute angles are less than 90 degrees. A triangle can have two or three acute angles. This one has three angles that are less than 90 degrees, three acute angles. This one has two. It has two acute angles and an obtuse angle. We're finished with part three. We're going to move on to 11.2D, exterior angles and remote interior angles. Have a great day and join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye.